At Meta's Connect, they just announced this. We are releasing the first ever vision-based body tracking integrated in a VR device. And this. With the advancements in artificial intelligence, we can generate leg movements that look natural and improve immersion with no extra effort from the developer. Now, this is big because they're not using any external sensors or variables. Instead, they're using the cameras that are already present on the headset and computer vision to track our body. So, with vision-based body tracking and generative legs, we'll be able to create really immersive experiences like this, where the avatar follows our natural body movements of squatting, moving side to side and bending by the hips. Now, these features will be available to us developers by the end of this year. But we can definitely get started by integrating upper body tracking. So, in this video, I will show you how to use the Movement SDK to animate your avatar just like this. What we can do now actually in the play mode is to set the head body offset. Nope, we are not doing that. Neither are we going to waste our time trying to set up IKs and trying to find the right alignment in the most uncomfortable way. Nor are we going to write a single line of code. So what are we going to do instead? You will see. But before that, I'd like to thank Meta for sponsoring this video and for their support. Alright, so first you need to visit the Meta's presence platform. I talked about this in my previous video. If you haven't seen that already, then you can check it out over here. Once you're on this page, you can scroll all the way down till you find the Movement SDK and then you can click on Unity. And from here, you can open up the Git repository. Now, before we download the Movement SDK, as per the requirements, you need to have the Unity Editor version 2021.3.21 LTS on your installed. Along with that, you also need to have your project completely set up with the latest version of Oculus Integration SDK. Don't worry, I've got you covered over here. Go ahead and download the base repository that's been linked in the description below. However, if you want to know how to set up your project from scratch, then feel free to check out this video over here. Once you have your project downloaded, open it up and go to File, Build Settings and make sure to switch the platform to Android. Alright, now let's see how to download and import the Moment SDK. So going back to the Git repository, we can see that the SDK can be added directly to our project using the Git URL or we can download the packages separately and then add it to our project. Now we are going to choose the second method because that gives us a better access to the SDK. So go ahead and click this link over here and then we can scroll down and download the latest version that's available to us. Once the package has been downloaded, go ahead and extract it. And once that's done, I would highly recommend you to move it from the downloaded folder into the Oculus base repository folder or your Unity project folder so that you can avoid the risk of accidentally deleting it. And now to import the SDK, go back to Unity project, click on Windows, Package Manager, click on the plus symbol and click on Add Packages from Disk. In here, navigate inside the Unity's Movement SDK folder, click on Packages and click on Open. Alright, so the Movement SDK has been successfully installed. You'll also be receiving a prompt asking you to add layers to your project so that the sample scene can work correctly. So to do that, you can go to Edit, Project Settings, select Tags and Layers and click on the symbol over here and click on Layers. Now this is going to add three layers. Once that's done, you can see that the prompt is going to get unhighlighted, which means that you've done it successfully. So let's go ahead and close this and we can close this as well. All right, now let's test some of the sample scenes just to make sure that we have set up everything right. So navigate inside the packages folder, meta movement, samples, scenes, and in here we have about five scenes and let's select the moment retargeting. Now before we test it out, go to file, build settings, player settings, Select XR Plugin Management, select the PC tab and make sure that you have the Oculus plugin checked. And next, make sure to connect your Oculus headset using Link or Air Link as well. And once that's done, you can click on the play button. And here we go. I can see the character following my finger movements, my hand movement, head movement, and the IK also seems to be working. All right, so now we can exit the plane. Now that we know everything is working perfectly fine, let's see how to set up our own scene. So let's go back to Asset, Scenes and open the sample scene. In here, we want to add a room environment. So in the project folder, we'll search for room, select the large room prefab, drag and drop it into a scene. Next, we want to add a skybox as well. So we'll search for skybox gradient. Select this material, drag and drop this into your scene as well. Then select the main camera and get rid of it. And in the project window, we want to search for interaction rig. Select the interaction rig OVR full synthetic and drag and drop it into your hierarchy. 
A quick disclaimer, this particular prefab is coming from the legacy folder which means that in the future this prefab might not be present. So in such a case you will have to create your rig from the scratch by looking at the instruction given on the Meta's website. Now open the interaction rig, select the OVR camera rig and in the OVR manager component we need to enable the body tracking support by selecting require from the drop down. We also need to give permission request on startup so make sure that you have the check mark beside body tracking. Next, we'll add avatars and implement body tracking. Now you can go online and download any 3D character of your choice, but there's only one condition. The character has to be humanoid. So I went on Sketchfab and searched for humanoid avatars and I found this character to be interesting. I'm going to download this and leave a link for it in the description as well if you would like to use the same. Alright, so here I have my downloaded character. Let me go ahead and extract this first and then import it into Unity. Alright, so the first thing to do here is to select your model, select the rigging tab, Select the animation type as humanoid and click on apply. And now if you open up the prefab, you can see that it has created a humanoid avatar. And if you click on configure avatar, it will show you all the bones that are there. And if you scroll down, you can see that it has automatically linked all the transform to the Unity's enum. So if something is missing, you can go ahead and add it manually. Or if you feel something is wrong, you can change it over here as well. But for this particular avatar, everything has been mapped perfectly. Now we can go back and let's select the avatar. Select materials and let's click on extract material. We will put it inside the textures folder. Click on select folder. And now if we go back in the textures folder, we have all the materials and all we need to do is add the textures to it. So let me do that really quick. All right, I've added the textures to all the materials. So now we can go back, select the prefab, drag and drop into a scene. Now this avatar has so many things that we don't want. So we can go ahead and right click and let us select prefab unpack completely and let's remove all the point lights which we don't want we do not want this light as well all we do not want the ground all we need is the character and the rig that comes along with it so with that we have our avatar set up and now to add the animation rigging all we need to do is select the character right click select movement samples body tracking and select animation rigging retargeting. Now we can press play and test this out. And here we go. We have our character set up with animation rigging. And did I not tell you that we did not have to set up any IK or make any alignments? We were able to do it with just a few clicks, which is super cool. Now, sometimes the alignment might not be right. For example, you can see here that the palm is going slightly inside. Now there's a way we can fix it and it's really simple. So what you can do is you can select the avatar and in here we have the retargeting layer component now this has joint rotation tweaks so you can click on the plus symbol and select the joint so for example we want to correct our left hand you can click on the plus symbol inside the list and we can rotate it in x probably like this and you can already see that it's looking way better there we go yeah, so now it looks much better. So just to give you, show you the comparison here, you can see how the left hand and right hand looks. So there are small adjustments that you might need to make depending upon the character that you're using. Now, if you'd like to see your avatar like how we saw in the sample scene, then you can go ahead and create a mirror using a camera and a render texture. But then that would be computationally expensive and it might slow down your headset. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to add this character to a scene once again. And let's remove or disable all the components that we don't need and then select the character move it slightly forward rotate it by 180 degrees and to this we are going to add a component called as late mirrored objects Now this needs a transform that it has to copy from so it has to copy the skeleton that we rigged earlier and then it has to apply the copy to the skeleton of this particular avatar that we just added right now and then we need to add the transform mirror pair so you can just click on get mirror transform pairs and that's about it so now if we press play and test it out and here you can see that the avatar is mimicking our movement and now you know how your avatar will look like to others all right so with that you have learned to use the meta's movement sdk to animate your characters by implementing body tracking you also saw how easy it was to set it up or at least it didn't take us 30 minutes if you didn't get something, then do let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, I would highly appreciate it if you can leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.